The HP system has been all the talk for the last week or so since its introduction into stepping. It has already been changed multiple times in the week that it's been live as many users were complaining that it was costing them more per run than what they were actually even earning. The team responded by eliminating the cost of GMT in order to restore, which should honestly probably be done in more parts of the game, and lowering the comfort gem requirements for restoration. So although I'm not with this new tax on the players, it is something that it looks like we will have to deal with going forward. So today we're going to take a look at exactly how the HP system works and analyze the data from the community to see how we can optimize to reduce the cost of the HP system. Let's dive right into the video. What's up guys, my name is Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. First thing we're gonna do today is take a look at the HP system in the white paper to really understand how it works. So HP stands for health points and freshly minted sneakers start off with 100% HP. The health points of a sneaker decays as users spend energy and use the sneakers to move. HP of the sneaker does not decay if users only use the sneaker to provide energy. So what affects the HP decay rate on your sneakers? So the first thing is going to be comfort value. The higher the comfort value on your sneakers, the slower the decay. Sneaker quality. The higher the sneaker quality, the slower the HP reduction. Now that's an interesting one and I'll go back to that one. And the final one is the amount of the energy used is proportional to the HP reduction. One thing to note is that after a sneaker is minted, HP will not decay for the first 48 hours. Next, let's take a look at HP restoration. So HP needs to be restored via burning GST and comfort gems. If left unattended, following penalties apply. If the HP is under 100%, the sneaker cannot be listed on the marketplace or transferred away. HP below 20%, sneaker cannot be counted to provide energy in that realm. And if the HP gets to zero, then the sneaker cannot be used for moving. To restore HP, the user needs to burn GST and comfort gems. The higher the sneaker quality, the higher the cost. So now if you wanna go more into detail, Stepin wrote an open letter of the recent changes, mainly focused about the health points. I'm only going to highlight a few parts from the article, specifically what are the benefits of health points. They said that the HP bar is an additional sink for GST and gems. The benefits that come along with these are comfort gems are given an additional layer of value. Comfort stat is no longer completely obsolete for anything other than GMT earning. So those two are definitely true. However, this third reason I do not agree with. More GST is burnt, thus regulating GST supply and reducing sell pressure. I completely disagree with that statement because although it is true that you're burning some GST, 99% of users will actually be trading their GST or selling their GST for Solana so that then they can buy those level one or level two gems to burn the gems. This increases sell pressure on GST. It does not reduce it. And if your argument is that people will bring outside money back into the realms to buy gems Gems, you're only kidding yourself. So level one gems are currently selling for 0.048 Solana. Level two gems are currently selling for about half a Solana. Right now for my sneaker to be back at 100% health points, it will cost me about three to four level one gems. So for three level one gems, that would be about 107 GST. For four level one gems, it will be about 143 GST. For a level two comfort gem, it will be about 336 GST. So you can easily see how that begins to add up in sell pressure in order to buy these gems. Even though I would be burning 30 to 40 GST, to restore, I'd be exchanging about 150 to 300 GST, selling it for Solana in order to buy those comfort gems, which at the end of the day, of course, puts more sell pressure on GST. And the last thing that GST needs right now is more sell pressure. The last benefit they posted is that it prevents massive frequent buying and selling of sneakers, which I don't think that's really a benefit. 
I don't think it really matters. So they ended this article by saying that they will always aim to listen, monitor, and incorporate the community's feedback. And one of the things that they did was roll out a free HP restoration at level 25. Now my issue with this vote, first of all, is only 33,000 people that voted on this, which probably accounts to less than 1% of the stepping community. Number two, the core players probably are between one to three sneakers, and they probably have common sneakers. Three, if you guys have watched any of my breakdown videos on what level is the optimal level for you to be at with common sneakers, it is at level nine or level 19. Upgrading beyond level 19 just doesn't make sense. It is not efficient. It is not optimal. So pretty much the core community of players will not be getting this free upgrade at level 25 because it already costs so much to get up to level 25. Right now, it is literally cheaper to just buy yourself a common level 28 sneaker than it is to level up from level 19 up to level 25. And it's probably also cheaper to buy a level 28 uncommon sneaker versus leveling up a sneaker from below level 10 all the way up to level 28. So things are just not adding up there for me. Either way, the results are loud and clear. HP is not going anywhere and it's something that we will have to live with. So let's break down some of the community data to see how's the best way to go about using comfort and comfort gems to reduce your costs for HP restoration. All right, so for this community data, you guys already know, and if you don't, then you need to get into the know and start following crit underscore step in on Twitter. He basically collects all all the data from the community and puts it in these incredible, incredible charts. So much props to him and thank you for taking the time to do this. So if we look at his tweet here, he said that the quality of sneaker does not seem to influence HP decay, which is strange because in the white paper and in the official thread, it clearly states that sneaker quality, the higher the sneaker quality, the slower the HP reduction. Now he also did say that we lack data and only have 170 entries, so we cannot be 100% certain of this as of yet. If we look at this chart here, you'll see that the light gray is common, green is uncommon, rare and epic. The left side is the HP DK in percentage per energy, and the bottom is how much comfort your sneaker has. So what we can see here that it's not really dependent on the sneaker quality, but it's more just dependent on your comfort stat. So even if you have a common sneaker, you can get to the same levels as the uncommons by just adding to your comfort attribute points. You could also get to the same level as the rares and epics by again, adding to your attribute points. You can see that rares start right here and that's because the lowest a rare sneaker could have as an attribute is 28. And at 28, you're only losing 0.1% per energy. As you work your way to 40 comfort, you see that it drops down lower. Not really a big change between 40 to 50 or 60 really. It looks like that next range is probably between 80 to 100. And it looks like at 120 is when you're only losing 0.05% DK per energy on your sneaker. Now you can also see that the uncommon sneaker at these same levels is only losing the same amount. And as it continues going further and further, you see that the DK between the uncommon and the rare sneaker are exactly the same pretty much on each level, meaning that the quality of the sneaker does not matter. The only thing that does matter is your comfort stats. So they should probably delete this from the white paper. Again, we don't have enough entries yet to know if this is for 100% facts, then they should definitely change the language in the white paper. So it looks like if you have a common or uncommon sneaker, you wanna probably get to a, at least that 0.1% range. Because to get there, you really only need between 20 to 30 points in your comfort slot. There's really not another big drop off unless you add like another 
30 points maybe at 60. Looks like in the 70s is really that, that halfway mark between 0.1% and 0.05. And then of course, beyond 120 is where you get to 0.05. So I would say 20 to 30 is probably the sweet spot of where you want to get your sneakers. If you have a gem slot for comfort gems, then you don't even need to add anything with attribute points. You could just throw in a level two or level three comfort gem in there and you should be good to go. If you don't have a comfort slot and you still have points that you either haven't used or you're still upgrading your sneaker, then I would throw in that, that 20 to 30 points in there. Someone else in the community, Fanboy Master, also made a small thread on this. He currently has a level 18 common runner with only 2.2 comfort and he uses it about three times a week with nine energy. Every time he goes out for a run, he loses about 2.46% HP. So if we run the numbers, that means that he's losing about 0.2 seven percent per energy right now and if we look back at crits charts you can see that that pretty much falls in line with that low level of comfort here you can see that it can go anywhere between 0.2 all the way up to 0.35 percent per energy he says at this rate he'll be able to use his sneaker 32 times before it gets to 20 percent remember that below 20 percent the sneaker will no longer provide energy in that realm when it gets to this level he's going to need 260 66 GST plus 27 level one comfort gem. Remember, we already know that a level one comfort gem costs about 0.048 Solana. So if he has to buy 27 level one gems, that would cost him about two Solana. It's going to cost you about 1,512 GST. So although he'll be burning 266 GST, he'll be selling 1,512 GST. Now he said that he'll try to balance this out by opening up mystery boxes and hoping to get lucky and a mix of buying some level one or level two comfort gems to fully restore when the time comes. Also, he's going to take his comfort stat to 30. That way he'll be on epic quality base stat range. And of course, if we take a look at that 30, remember that's pretty much that sweet spot that we spoke about. So do you like the new HP system or do you hate the new HP system? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas on how to possibly improve the HP system, also let me know in the comments. Whoever has the best idea, I will send 100 GST to, AKA I'll buy you a cup of coffee. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.